All right, good morning. That's AM, people. It's November 1st. First day of NaNoWriMo. So I'm gonna have my coffee. And then I'm going to write. And we'll see how far I get. I have an appointment at noon, so I need to get it done early today. My, um, my word count is... 2500 a day and I'm going to love it, right? All right, I'm not gonna show you myself because I look and feel like a zombie. Okay, it's 625 and I just finished this and I've just been laying in bed waking up for the day with Coco. Hi everyone, uh, it's the first day of NaNoWriMo. It's November 1st and I told you that I'd give you some updates. I don't know how often I'll do this, but today's day one and I just thought I would tell you about my first day. Last night, before I do that, I'll tell you about something interesting. Last night, one of my neighbors is doing a class. She's finishing up her degree and she's doing a class on goal setting and she asked me to participate in three different meetings at her house on goal setting. Or she asked anyone in our little neighborhood if anyone wanted to do it. And I jumped on it because I said, yeah, I'm going to have, so I have a big goal coming up. So three of us sat down last night and we set goals. One of them was to pay off this girl, was to pay off her credit card. The other one is to lose weight in her arms or inches in her arms. And mine was to write a novel in 30 days. So that was very interesting. So now I've thrown it out, not just to the internet of people I don't know, but now my neighbors know it. So now I'm under all kind of pressure. So this morning I got up at 5.30. It takes me a while to wake up. So I started writing about 6.30. And I wrote for about, I wrote for three hours and it was slow, it was clunky, it was terrible. Oh my gosh, I did, I just, it's, it's, it's hard to get in a groove. But I did end up getting in a groove and by the time, <clears throat> so I wrote for three hours, I took a shower, I ate some breakfast, I sat back down and wrote 30 more minutes. By the time I was finished, I had written 2,000, I think 50, 2,050 words. If you do NaNoWriMo every day for 30 days, your goal is like 1666. My goal, since I'm going to miss a week on the cruise, is 2,500, so I'm really close to that already. I've introduced three of the four character main characters, so I, my next chapter will introduce the fourth one and get her to the spot, and I'm ready to roll from there. Although, I'm really regretting that I didn't do more preparation. A lot of people I've been watching, I watched a bunch of videos last night on NaNoWriMo on YouTube of people doing it. And um, everybody was doing October prep. They called it Preptober or something. I don't know. And they all have outlines and they all have this. And I, I know where my story is located, but I don't know what's going to happen in it. I mean, I don't know. It's terrible. So I wish I had done a lot more prep because I'm afraid once I introduce the people, I'm just going to be, they're all going to be sitting there twiddling their thumbs, doing nothing. But I don't know, I'm so excited. I feel so good about day one. I would love to write even more than 25 words today, but the afternoon is when I slump. And I don't picture myself writing at night. Although when I did Marie Antoinette, I sat in bed and wrote at night because I was, you know, just a fiend to get that done and get in, get in under the wire. And I'm gonna be the same way this time. But again, three weeks instead of four weeks. But Again, I think I mentioned this in my last one. Scott said, look, if you need to take your laptop on the cruise and in the afternoon when my parents take a nap and I take a nap and you write, no one's going to care. And so I said, yeah, that's true. So technically, I guess I could do that. But I don't want to do that. So it's really interesting, though, because once you get started, things just come. Ideas just come. Like one just came at the end of chapter three. Uh, I think it was the end of chapter four, and it was just like, what? You know, it was just like not even expecting. Not anyway. Since I don't have a plan, I don't know why I expect things to to, be, to surprise me because 
yeah, everything's going to surprise me. So I'm going to get, did I tell y'all I'm going to get my hair done? This appointment's been made for a couple of weeks. I just need my roots done. They're so bad right now. And um, yeah, that's day one update. I'll update you later this afternoon and let you know if I uh, reached my goal. Hey y'all, um, Scott's in the other room getting ready to come in here to watch the baseball game and I'm fixing to put my headphones on and write some more. So at the end of this video, I'll put the word count on a piece of paper and show you what it is, but it's going to be too late for me to video because I wanted to get this up. Well, never mind. It's always something y'all. Anyway, what I wanted to show you is that I, I promised these videos and I know y'all think I forget. I have not forgotten about the uh, military style jacket video and I was going to show you that see I have my clothes rack all ready to go with boots and all kinds of things to do that video so I'm hoping to get it done tomorrow um today's just been crazy so as soon as I get a final word count decide to quit for the night I'll upload this video and you'll either watch it late tonight or in the morning thanks bye-bye